Hey guys, so I ordered this for my uh, G, uh, G Pro Hero uh, because the cord is different than my 502 Logitech and uh, the cord was getting stuck a lot. So I bought this to see if it's going to resolve it or not. Um, bought it off Amazon. I'll be putting information on the video below. But let's let's take a look and open and see what we got. Paid a little more than uh, the amount that I want. I paid over ten dollars, but everybody that bought this left really good reviews. And all I wanted to see how good a good product it is. I don't really care about that. It seems like it all it came with was this little just now thing, with tells you product lines that they have and this item. So the thing about this one compared to the other stuff is that it's supposed to stick to the actual flooring so it doesn't move like you can jank on it and uh, I'll be testing this out in a minute to see if it's true or not it has a clamp on clamp down it's got for the wire here in the back I hope I hope it matches my Logitech uh, G Pro Hero which is the main reason I bought this for okay. so from my last where I left off uh, when I opened the box this is my Logitech G Pro Hero and this is my Logitech 502. I don't have my Logitech 2 502 connector right now. Uh, I have this one because uh, I heard FP for FPS the lighter mouse is better. So I'm giving this a try. It's, it's a really big difference in weight actually. So here's the cord. There's the reason why this is basically the main reason why I bought the thing right. Uh, the thing to hold it is because you can tell one is definitely bigger than the other one. So this used to be my old one. I'll put a description of all four items, the two mouses and the, my new one that I bought my old one. So this one fits fits this one perfectly, but my problem my problem with with the 502 is it's it's far too thin. So it was causing the wire to like as you can see like like I'm not sure see how easy it is to come out. So if I'm swinging this thing around, it's like really easy. It just doesn't hold. So if anybody that has this one that has a 502, you're gonna have a hard time. I would not recommend buying this one. For the 502 it's it's good for this one i mean it's th this is <laughs> i'm getting my words messed up but basically this is good for 502 not for the for the g pro hero um and also it's it, it's not like the bunker it, it doesn't have something to keep it in place um even though it can hold the wire it could um the item itself is still movable for this one but if you look at this one this is the one I bought this is the one I the main reason uh, the I'm making this video is this one that I can hit this and it doesn't move the only thing I'm gonna tell you is if you buy this one be careful how you plant it down because once you remove the sticker and you place it a little off it is really hard <laughs> to take it out and it comes with a clamp you can take off and off now you see that clamp right there and then you just sink it down and it sinks now I'm gonna show you my hand moving on the 502 right here look at my hand so you can take a make sure you can tell I have a big mat so if you're like a big arm person this is perfect if you're just smaller than then you can probably break the cable more in the back and you'll be fine um, let's go to the back side so you can see over here I'm gonna focus on this so let me take this off so you can see how it connects so you can it's actually really tight which is cool. So I have to actually pre put pressure on it to get it in there. So that's the cool part. And this is how flexible it is. So it does, I hope this video helps you guys out, whoever wants to purchase this item. And uh, let me put the 502. I have yet to put the 502, but let's test it out. So I'm also gonna put the 502 with the braided cable. Let's remove the, let's remove that one. So you can tell I had to move with a little bit of pressure. Oh, this one actually kind of kind of hard. Actually, not sure if it's gonna fit. I have to apply a lot of pressure. Okay, I'm applying a lot of pressure. Looks like it's fitting. So for those that want this for just for any mouse, there we go. Come over here. So as you can tell, it toggles. So I do want to give it an extension. Hopefully I don't break my new toy. <laughs> It'd be so sad. 
but just even the top part. So yeah, you can you can uh, customize it however you want. The only reason I bought it was because this was getting tangled so much that I, when I was playing, I was doing that. And that, that was causing me to mess up. That's the reason I bought this one particularly. So there you go. I hope this video was informative. Um, if there are any other questions you want, let me know. Leave a comment on uh, the video below. And we'll see how it goes. Thank you.